Stanley, Blackout Easy, doing another segment of RV with Tim. Man, it's Friday, it's a beautiful day. Here in the Carolinas, it's about 82 degrees, nice wind blowing. And uh, today I'm gonna talk about Level Mate, uh, Level Mate Pro. I had this thing for two years, and I bought it when I first got my first RV. You know how when you buy an RV, you go out there, you're all super excited, you buy all this stuff. Well, I had this for two years. It'll be in my truck, then be in my office and different places. So I said, you know what? I got a trip planned to uh, Falls Lake Campground today over the weekend, Mother's Day weekend. I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and install this thing, see how it works, and give you a good review on it, let you know how it works. But anyway, got my rig all set up. But so let's get started. We're going to go inside first and we're going to set this up. The Level Make Pro is uh, wireless, uh, works with your phone app. Where it levels your trail up automatically, well, not automatically, but it helps you to level your trail up. You ready to get started? Let's go. Comes a nice little box. Um, got, you know, advertising stuff on it, tells you how to work. So let, let's go in on the, let's open it up and see what we got. So it says download, install, got a little card with QR scanner on there. And it says uh, download, install the Level Pro Mate app by scanning the QR code below. Remove the lid from the Level Pro and install the battery with the plus side facing outward. Then reinstall the lid, slide the Level Mate Pro switch to right, to the right, and you will hear two beeps. Start Level Mate Pro app and the setup wizard will guide you through the rest of the installation. So, all right. Come with uh, screws right here. Uh, there's the battery. <laughs> hey, I have these same batteries in my alarm system at home. So, and I don't know what that is. Little. But anyway, um, so I guess I need a screwdriver uh, to take that cover off. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So, hold tight. The right screwdriver is kind of a real small one, but we're gonna take the. Uh, Cover off and install that battery. Then we're going to download the app, like they say. So, all right, and it says. With the plus side facing up. So we gotta do it like this. Plus side facing up. I had it for two years. I hope the battery's still good, but alright. And we install the lid. That's in there. tight I'm gonna take it off for right now and then replace that battery but anyway okay now we have to download the app onto the phone this is our wood screws to install it underneath in the front but um so let's go ahead and download the app okay. so I entered all my information to register the device so I'm just continue to set up with it so um, now it's stepping me through like what I have and it says travel trailer so what I gotta do is temporarily mount the level pro using included Glue, this what this was these little glue, glue strips so I can mount that in a temporary position put the tow vehicle a few feet in front of a normal tow position and sit in the driver's seat and tow vehicle tap check signal strip all right ready to do that all right so it said come out here and I put the tape on there it didn't do too good but anyway so temporarily mount it and that's where I'm gonna put it at somewhere right there and it says go up front of your tow vehicle so to make sure it can reach thicker. All right, so I'm gonna hit the check signal strength and you're supposed to have it not, not too far. So it says, um, remove signal test successful, remove the temporary mounting tape from the level pro and securely mount the unit with the provided screws. So, okay, so that worked out. So now we're gonna mount it. Mount the level pro uh, on the driver side front pass through storage area and this is where I'm gonna mount it at right up in here but what I did was I took that panel off right there to make sure um, I took this panel off right here to make sure I wouldn't be hitting any 
vitals like wiring and stuff like that. If you look up there, you see some plumbing, some wiring right there. So I just want to make sure when I put these screws in, it'll be nothing right here that I hit. And that's very important because you don't want to create a problem uh, solving a problem. So when you uh, before you do any screwing, make sure it's nothing behind there that you're going to interfere with when, you, when you're mounting your um, the hardware, the module. Okay, so what I did, um, uh, I put the panel back up, this panel right here that I had off. And so I saw it was a clean metal bar going across there, aluminum. So I actually drilled one screw in that to the left and I torqued it down so it'll stay. And then I leveled it off. And then I took a screwdriver right there, put it on the other hole. So now I know where to spot and drill the other hole. So now everything's set up with my Level Pro. Level Mate Pro got it nice and balanced and uh, centered up. And I'm gonna go ahead and install the other screw after I uh, put a little pilot hole right there, so I know where to put the next screw. I drill because right there actually in the in the aluminum frame. All right, so it's up and out the way in the uh, pass-through storage. So you see it's right there on that it's continuation on this metal frame right here. This aluminum bar going all the way across, so it's nice and sturdy. All right, remember I took that panel off to make sure. It was nothing behind there I was going to interfere with when I put the screws in there. Okay, next is telling me, let me go back. Uh, but it's asking me to make sure the measurement units are in inches, temperatures Fahrenheit, and driving side of the road is the right side. So let's, uh, let's hit next. And so I got to measure the width of the wheels across the back, and then I got to measure from the rear axle to the tongue. So let's go do that. Just across the tires from one side to the next. I'm right at like 90, 92 inches, okay? So, well, 93 inches. So I'm gonna put that in the computer, or in the phone, in the app. Now I gotta measure from the rear wheel right here to the toe. Right. Okay, I knew I had to level the RV before installing the Level Mate Pro. So, you know me, I did a pro setup here. Um, always level on this uh, surface right outside the shop because it's nice and level and also it's it's uh, off the highway, not a lot of traffic. Now, it is a business back there. That's why I always put the cones out, safety first. I always put the emergency brake on, and I always chalk the wheels. See that? Wheels chalked. But anyway, um, it's pretty level, but, you know, I'm trying to set that Level Mate Pro up, and so I wanted it to be perfect. So what I did was I pulled it in place, and I was still off a little bit left to right. So I was still low on the uh, driver's side of the RV. So, whoa, look at that, man. It's a brand new RV with Tim uh, cover on the back of the RV, man. That is super slick. Can't wait to put it on the road today and tomorrow. Everybody see me waving at him. Hopefully picks up, pick up some subbies, some subscribers. But anyway, what I had to do was I added the, uh, this board and I rolled on the board. Give me a little height so it leveled it off perfectly. All right, to level front to back, man, I didn't even... Didn't even drop the tongue. I'm tell you what I did was I used the air pump, man, the airbag. So it normally takes about 30 pounds to level it off, but I actually put in, let's see, around 70 pounds, 75 pounds of air in there. It uh, <laughs> jacked the truck up, the trailer, made it nice and level. So that's the thing I love about the airbag. It saves me time when I can just use the air to pump, to pump it up, to raise it up. But let me show you, so I'm level side to side and front to bottom. Let me show you how level I am, man. I'm going to set it up for this. Look at that. That's pretty good, man. And then look from uh, side to side. You can't beat that, man. So perfect level for setting up the RV uh, Level Mate Pro. So pretty good. We see how it's going to go and uh finish the setup all right i'm at uh just got to the campground uh f7 here at uh jordan lake state recreation area so i left everything hooked up and uh so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna turn on the uh the level mate pro remember we, we installed that up here on the driver's side pass through storage area so you click on turn on the button they're gonna two beeps and now I'm going to turn on the app on my phone. We can find that thing and get this thing leveled out, okay? So let's do it. All right, the main thing is, um, for me, it's side to side. Um, so it's like green on that side. 
I gotta go a quarter of an inch up on that side. So I might move the vehicle up a little bit or slot, move it back a little bit to get my left to right good. That's what I'm concerned about. Then I can use my uh, tongue jack to uh, get me what I need from front to back, okay? So I'm good. I might move the truck up a little bit um, and, and, and see where I'm at to get this thing level from side to side, all right? Cool. Level spot, and this thing changes pretty good. Let's see, I'm, so you see now I'm off by a half inch on that side. So I'm just trying to find a C now by a quarter. Still moving up a little bit. All right, so boom, that's where I'm at from side to side. That way I ain't put no wheel shocks under there. I can just raise it up. And look how close we are on the front. So boom, this thing has helped out a lot. So I'm gonna park it, set it right here, and uh, I'm gonna start doing my setup. This way I don't have to put no blocks underneath my wheels to level off from side to side. Beautiful. Okay, we learned from the uh, Level Mate Pro that I'm good side to side, right? So I didn't have to use any leveling on those wheels. That's why I pulled up to find a good spot where it's even from side to side. And it told me I needed 14, 15 inches up front. So that's good information to know because I know since I got to extend it so high, I add uh, extra blocks underneath there. And now I'm going to go ahead and uh, disconnect and go ahead and level uh, front to back with the Level Mate Pro. So look how cool that is. So already I took it off the ball. I'm still good. Left to right, side to side. And look at the front. I'm off 12. And man, it's amazing how it changes as I raise this thing up. I mean, man, I'm a big fan because then... Otherwise, I'll be running in and out, looking at the level to see how far I am. And it helped out too. I knew how much I had to go, so I put the extra blocks underneath there. I just hope I had enough blocks up there. That is a lot. I'm gonna have to add some more blocks. When I looked at the site, I knew it wouldn't be a problem as far as uh, the incline. I'm almost out of jack. I don't think I'm going to make it. What do you think? Think I'm going to make it? Dude, man, look at that. Man, and what I tell you, man, when I hooked this thing up, I, when I showed you, I said it was a pro install, man. Look at that. That's going to level back out. It's off by that. But that is super duper. Look at that, man. So anyway, let's, uh, let me adjust it a little bit. Maybe because I didn't, uh, there you go. Man, look at that. I guess it had time to catch up and I overshot it. Man, that's a pro install. So I'm a big fan of this thing. First, I, I moved forward and backward, found a good spot left to right. So I had to use no wheel, uh, no height adjustment under my tires. And then I just used this right now and got me totally level. And I want to go inside and look. So I am a big fan, super duper, five stars, 10 stars. This thing is legit. All right. Tim Stanley, Blackout Easy, doing another segment of RV with Tim. See you on the other side.